Hello, Moonrace. Okay, so last time we were here, uh, Amber was kidnapped and held hostage. Ted tricked his way out of confinement and now we have to find this voodoo lady. So, Tangerine's Locket, Voodoo Charm. So I'm guessing we need to... So. Hmm. Yeah, you place stuff on this. Couldn't be clearer. Oh, be quiet. So we have fire, earth, love. So I'm guessing love. I'm not throwing jewelry around. Broken heart. It doesn't get more straightforward than this. Why? I'm s Yeah. That's what I thought. There. I guess that's right. And that's earth. We put the plant there? Yes. So maybe we need to do that there you go, little buddy. before we put the locket. And now maybe this will work. Hmm. I thought the obvious door would open. Didn't really expect the wall to open. <laughs> Have you never learned that haven't you learned yet that it's not the obvious? I mean, I would expect the opening to be beneath the voodoo skull on the wall. Hello, lady. What is... It's covered with voodoo newspapers and voodoo cardboard. Magical. Stop being so damn sarcastic, Ted. If that thing tree. starts moving, I'm out of here. Uh, voodoo Your junk. regular household supplies. Salt, butter, monkey skulls. Oh boy. An octopus. Something that can only be a human skull. A jar of eyes and a big wheel of cheese. Everything you need to make this place as creepy as possible. And shoes. Can't miss those. <laughs> All right. Metroid. A nod to greatness. Okay. All right. We have ritual candles. Those are a serious fire hazard. We have a big candle. Wow. That's a big candle. Looks important for a nonsensical superstition, that is. All right. Fine. Let's... I don't think so. I don't want to turn into stone. So you don't want to look at her. Let's talk to her, then. If it isn't Teddy Bear, the famous detective, you finally come to see me. You need my help, or you need a change of perspective? There's no hiding things from you, is there? Tigrin knows everything, Teddy Bear. Then you know why I came to see you. You need my help to get the girl back from King. Wow, that's... that's exactly why I'm here. And what yeah. made you change your mind about seeking me out? Are you running out of options, little bear? Listen, yes. I'll be straight with you. Yes. All this voodoo mumbo jumbo. I'm not really buying it. <laughs> Do I look like a saleswoman to you? Fair enough. I need your help. No one knows King better than you. Hmm. I don't know King anymore. He has lost his mind. Was there ever a time where he was, you know, sane? He is afraid, bear, as we all are. Things have changed. From King's perspective, he is doing everything he can to save the city. To save himself. Even if that means handing Amber over to... The Red Man. Yeah, that's the plan. She's over there right now, entertaining his guests while he looks for his new buddy. Once he gets there, I don't know what's going to happen. The meeting between the two is inevitable, Bear. King wants to force it, but the girl will only face him once she is ready, not before. Until then, you have to take her out of the city. Deeper into the city she goes, and longer she stays, more difficult it would be for her to return. I don't have time for your riddles, goddammit. She's in danger. You are so backwards, Teddy Bear. You can't see what's right in front of you. The girl and the city, they share but one soul. And something is destroying her from the inside. Hmm. 
Do you know what about Flint? her brother? She won't leave until we find him. The boy is not here, Bear. Are you sure? Where the hell is he? No one seems to know anything about the kid. There is but one man who could know where the boy is. Red. The Red Man and the girl are connected in more ways than one. They are on two sides of the same coin. Things she doesn't know, he knows. And things he's missing, she owns. What do you Red. know about Red? What do you know about him? Oh, I know as much about him as I know about you. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Can you stop being so damn cryptic and give me a straight answer for a change? The past, present, and the future of the one you call Red is not up to you to know. Amber. The girl knows everything. She's just forgotten. What does he want with Amber? We will see. When the time comes. Of course. Okay, so we need to get, get her get back. Amber back from King? King has a weakness. The one I'm inclined to help you exploit. As long as these flames are lit, King cannot be harmed. So you're protecting him? Why are you doing this? You don't owe him anything anymore. King and I shared a strong bond. The one of the flesh and the soul. Traces of our bond can still be felt by both him and me. Also, I can't let him die until I make him change his will. Huh. <laughs> Even the powerful Tigrant <laughs> Jones is not above the earthly things like money, it seems. It's only my money I'm after, Bear. Even the powerful Tigrant Jones needs to eat, huh? All right. Mm. So, can you help me? I can. <laughs> will you? Okay. Will you help me? It is done. That's it? I don't feel like explaining all of this mumbo-jumbo to you, Teddy Bear. King is not under my protection anymore. Go and do what you need to do. And if I kill him? Ah, with my help or without, you'll find King won't be easy to take out. Well, this was as helpful as a kick in the head. Get the girl out of the city. You don't have much time left. She won't listen to me. She's looking for her brother. And unless I can somehow convince her he's not here, there's little I can do to change her mind. Wait, what do you mean we don't have much time left? Tonight, look for the rose petals in the wind. If you are not with her still when you see them, you might just die of a broken heart. Well, that's just great news. Ah, news is news, regardless of your opinion on them. That's the way the cookie crumbles, huh? Stop speaking in riddles, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Anyways, it's not like I don't like hanging around creepy voodoo dens, but there's a damsel in distress waiting for me. Go and help her, teddy bear. Before I leave, I just want to check something. CBG gave me this thing he found at the steel mill after the fire. Do you know what it is? This is nothing but a worthless trinket. But your friend has too many bats in his head. Who knows where he found that? It's not a voodoo thing? It's not. You think King had something to do with this? Not anymore. I think I might have some other ideas about who burned down the mill. Yours is a world full of mystery and intrigue. Yeah, I'm really blessed. Anyways, it's been a blast. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> I like you, teddy bear. You have a kind heart. Be safe now. You're all right, too. See you around. You don't mind her that much, then. Okay, so we finished up this. Um, so that's where we are. So we need to go back to the casino then. Try and get Amber out. Ah, the girl, Ted. She really is something else. At least we can agree on that. You don't seem to be surprised to see me here. As I already told you, there's not much going on in this city that I don't know about. So, you probably know where I went in the meantime. Did she? Did she agree to help you? <laughs> she did. Does it matter anymore? You can have the girl back. Why the sudden change of heart? It was stupid of me to think I could change the fate of this city. We owe everything to the girl, and if repaying that debt means we have to suffer in her place, then so be it. Doesn't have to be like this, King. You're a powerful man. Help me. Help me get this red bastard. You haven't met this guy, Ted. 
There is no stopping him. Why did you agree to help him in the first place? I, I thought I had no choice, Ted. That thing is going to destroy the entire goddamn city. What is he? He is everything you and I aren't. He is the antithesis to everything and everyone in this city. He is our undoing, Ted. Wow. You really were married to Tigran Jones. Would it kill you two to make sense sometimes? You will understand when the time is right. And when will that be? That's up to the girl when she's ready. Did you tell your new buddy to come here tonight? What'll happen to you now that she'll be gone? <laughs> Seeing as you got Tigran to remove the spell from me, I'm not really optimistic about my chances, Ted. But don't worry. It's time to teach that red-hooded freak what happens when you try to threaten the king. You just get her out of this place, Ted. Get her out of this damn city. I'll try. You were always a thorn in my side, Bear. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't respect you. You just give him hell tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh, I intend to. So long, King. Dead. Was that handprint on King's head always there? Did I just miss it? So now what? We need to get out of the city, doll. Start fresh in the morning. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere until I find Flint. This is why we came here in the first place. Yes. Flint's not here. There's nothing here. We need to go back. It was a mistake coming here in the first place. So, all of this, it was a waste of time? I wouldn't call it a total waste, but it's not safe for you here. Oh, so now suddenly you're worried about my safety? Suddenly. You didn't want to come with me in the first place, remember? Then you dragged me to Paper City, and now you're telling me we should go back? Well, I'm not going. Oh, and I suppose I should just stick around and wait for someone to shoot me, because I can see it coming a mile away. Ugh, you're just being paranoid. Maybe Betty was right. Maybe what happened to CBG is happening to you now. I'll pretend you didn't just say that. Besides, did you forget we were just held captive by a notorious criminal? I need to get you away from this place, doll. No! I'm staying! I'm going to follow my leads for a change, and I'm going to find Flint with or without you. You can go back to your sad office you love so much. Oh, wow. You think I love being cooped up in that place? Has it ever crossed your mind? I set my office there so I can... What? Forget it. You're acting like a child, Amber. Anyways, it's clear to me you don't trust me anymore. And I'm positive you didn't tell me everything you know about this case. So, seeing as you believe I'm slowing you down, I wouldn't want to be a burden on you. <gasps> You've... you called me by my name. What are you saying? I'm saying this is the point in the movie where we part ways, doll. Wait, you're really going to leave me here? Alone? Frankly, my dear, I... Don't you dare quote movies at me. <laughs> hey, this is your city, right? No one is safe here more than you. But what about the Red Man? You know what? Fine, leave. It's not like I really need you anymore. I'm capable of doing things on my own. I figured as much. Just wanted to hear you say it. Well, see you around, doll. He put his office in your room so that he could keep you safe. Stubborn child. Those are Ted? flower petals. Come back. Please. Those were the red flower petals that Tigran spoke about. And Ted was not by her side when they showed up. That final conversation 
That was just heartbreaking. Amber is acting like a stubborn child. And I mean, she is a child. But I can only imagine how Ted felt hearing that. So that's the end of episode two. There's one more episode to go. And we have time to continue. You're sitting in a bar on your own. Jump in. That's Paper City. there it looks like someone was looking for something I hope Tigran's okay okay why are you here this doesn't feel like the safest place to be everything of Tigran's is gone Maybe I should tell Lebowski it's here. If this room was a box inside a screen and someone would be looking inside it, the arrow would look like it's pointing southeast. I'm quirky like that. <laughs> it doesn't say anything, but it's pointing right. It's turned left, but there's nothing on it. Okay, what do I have? I only have the Swiss Army knife at the moment. Can't reach it by hand. I need something longish. What does this it say? One might look better on the floor. This cheese. This cheese is not Gouda. Get my rain, Ted. Oh. Yeah. You, you kind of drove him away, girl. Pointy things helped us out so far. Can't reach it by hand. Can I use it to get this down? Yep. Whoops. There's an arrow. Looks like it's pointing south. There's a schematic drawing on the back of the painting. Okay. Uh. I boss. My oh my. The quotation marks are not there by accident. Mm, no. Cardboard. This side up. Hey, they flipped it right. Not really up to the task, are you? No. So, the schematic shows this point, this point, those points, 
and down to the sigil. There's a schematic. But why? Hmm. Looks like something is behind it. A what? Oh, there seems to be a mechanism for the lock. I bet that the drawing on the back of the painting has something to do with this. Probably. So if I just try the door, it's gonna Maybe be locked, the mechanism right? Can unlock it. Yeah. Which way was this? If this room was a box inside a screen and someone would be looking inside it, the arrow would look like it's pointing southeast. I'm quirky like that. Southeast. So North, South, East, West, Southeast. I must have made a mistake. Hmm. Okay. There's a schematic. Yeah. It should be the arrows. So is this not supposed to be north? It doesn't say anything, but it's pointing right. Pointing right. It's turned left, but there's nothing on it. It's turned left. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try starting with northeast this time. Hmm. Is it possible? that oh no I messed up already yeah I, I'm just gonna flip through this because this is gonna be wrong because I messed up I must have um but I'm gonna try it backwards. South. I bet that the drawing on the back of. Yeah. I'm gonna try north. worked open sesame who needs you bear <laughs> you do <gasps> I've left her there I did on that creaky old pier it was more of a suggestion than a decision I was walking slowly just waiting for her to turn around to yell at me to come back anything she didn't I've come to expect that from her. She's really headstrong. Difficult. Thomas, I can see traces of you in her eyes. The same look, that same twinkle when adventure calls. But most of the time, she just marches on to the beat of some other drummer. 
the one I can't hear so well anymore. I made a promise to you, back then, when she was born. Promises and old age don't go well together. She's constantly getting me in tough spots, and it's getting impossible for me to keep up. It was easier with you. We thought we could really make a difference. You and I, remember? We thought we could clean up this dump together. But then, you changed. You grew up. It happened so fast. With Amber, I feel she can do it all on her own. And I'm just here for the ride. I'm not blaming you. I never did. Even when Margaret knocked on the office doors and I saw that stupid look in your eyes, I knew. I knew our time was coming to an end. So that's Amber's dad? I watched you both grow up. And I remember you two becoming best friends. I was there for your wedding, man. I remember you coming home with your son a year later. You were so proud. And I was happy for you. A couple of years later, Amber came along, and I could smell trouble all over her. She was bad news from the start. <laughs> when she grabbed and hugged me for the first time, my eye popped, but she was laughing. It was funny to her. I guess it was funny to me, too. Oh boy, I thought, this will never work. <laughs> but it kind of did. I admire her in a way. Everything is new and exciting to her. And she embraces life with both hands until its eyes pop out. As King said, she really is something else. You made me promise I would always keep her safe. And God knows, I tried even though she wasn't making it easy for me. I can tell you that much. This thing that's happening to her now, I feel she has to do this on her own. Besides, she said it herself. She doesn't need me anymore. And I need her as I need a bullet to my head. What I do need is a drink. I think I earned one after all. So, where are we on that drink, pal? As I already told you, I'm not running a goddamn charity here, Ted. Times is tough. Besides, my name is Jameson, as you know. But you just kept referring to me as Thomas this whole time. Who the hell is Thomas? Hey, did I ask for your life story? Just get me a damn drink. You know I'm good for it. I don't, actually. You have an extensive tab here, Ted. You have to start paying soon, man. I told you this already. You damn squid. Who did you call first when you thought your wife was having an affair, hmm? Well, you. But you charged me for it. Yeah, well, you know, times is tough. At least I give you a friends and family discount. No, actually. You overcharged me for your field expenses, which were basically just you drinking here for free and having me drive you home every night. What's your point? My point is... And how can I put this lightly? You have to start paying for your goddamn booze, Bear. How's the missus? Oh, you know, she's doing okay. Wherever she is. Women, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. Just give the man a drink, Jay. It's on me. Hey, Headless, when did you get here? I was literally here this whole time. You were <laughs> actually telling me your story, but you kind of switched to Jay here mid-sentence. We thought it was weird, so we had a discussion about it while you were talking. You see, <laughs> we both think this whole Amber thing is troubling you more than you're willing to admit. How yeah. do you figure? You care for the girl, Ted, more than anyone else. You just basically told us your whole life story, even though we resisted actively. I mean, I tuned out so many times. I did my taxes in the meantime. <laughs> Jay did his taxes. Anyways, all I'm saying is you're usually not the talkative type, and here you are just rambling on for the past hour or so. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being a burden on you, too. Come on, don't be like this, Ted. You're really still relatively relevant, you know? Yeah, sure, buddy. You're all that. Whatever, you lowlifes. Some friends you are. Go after the girl, Ted. She needs your help more than ever now. We all do. This is the time for a man to show who he really is. All that effort, it means nothing if you leave her now, when she needs you the most. Never thought of you as a quitter, honestly. <laughs> I did. He often quits on paying his tab. All right. You've made your point, goddammit. I'll get you the money by the end of the month. <laughs> sure. Now don't you go getting shot on me in the meantime. I could never do that to you, buddy. Go find her, Ted. She's probably alone and scared, and no matter what falling out you two had, I'll bet you my bottom dollar she wishes her partner is with her on this one. Yeah, yeah. I guess. 
What the hell am I doing anyways? Talking to a couple of village idiots instead of finishing the goddamn case. How could I leave her like that? I mean rude. Right. <laughs> I have to go and find her. She needs my help. Headless, you got this, right? Right? Sure. Put this on his tab, too. Um... No time to talk. I have to go. Yeah. Yeah, she needs you. And you need her. More than you thought you did. This place is a mess. It was not as much of a mess before. Huh. What happened here? I'll get them for this. These were criminally underused in the last episode. Yeah, so let's take them. What do you have? Carrot I'll juice. I'll just take these again. Yeah. Carrot juice, red cloth, sword, and matches. Always send the dumbest guys to solve convoluted puzzles. They always find the most creative solutions. Yeah. Let's get in there. Let's catch up to Amber. Yeah, generic rug comment. I mean, it... I've wondered what the hell this thing is. Guess I'll never know. Doodles aren't really my forte. Maybe Amber would enjoy this one. Yeah. Looks unused. And let's take it. We do have matches, after all. Maybe it'll come in handy. Not really artisan. Not really art. Okay. This cheese sure is not Gouda. Get it? Yeah, Amber said the same thing, buddy. It's pointing in a specific direction, as arrows tend to do. Yeah, you don't need to <laughs> solve in that. A land because... blind, a man with a jar of eyes is the king. A glass slide. Let's grab that. Maybe I can view it somehow. Classy. Yeah, no. Can I look at the door? No. Okay. Let's go see where Ember went. Whoa. I can barely make out the outline on it. A two-headed snake. One is eating itself while the other isn't. Huh. I don't get it. <laughs> and some Smells like teen, um, ghost. Huh. As if this place magica. wasn't creepy enough without flickering imagery. Oh, but we can use that. If projectionist school taught me anything, this is where you put in the slides. Yes. Floor book. Slave of soul. I smell a Pulitzer nomination at the very least. Poster. Zero reflex. A psychedelic experience. Ah, I'm not voodoo tired. Just regular tired. Okay. There's a glass slide. Another slide. Let's pick those up. Hmm. Is this the last one? No, I see at least one more. I ain't touching that. I had enough of creepy inventory for today. All right, all right. I just want to look at it. Mm, position. That's one ugly deity. Hey there, buddy. Got any tips? Your mother washes socks in hell. <laughs> All right, calm down. Okay. If you say so. Who would want to spend time with a stuffed animal? Am I right? Uh, Ted? Don't be so hard on yourself. It's creepy voodoo stuff. 
the hotspot really describes it best. Stylish, except for the bones. It's creepy voodoo stuff. Okay. Is this also just... Hey, your guess is as good as mine, buddy. Okay. There's another glass slide. Another slide. Is this the last one? I can't see any more slides. There doesn't seem to be anywhere else I can go either, but where did Amber go? Because she went in here. Anyway, can I put these? It fits. Let's take another look. I think that's all of them. Can I use this on the table? Put this there? Project it on the wall? Let's see if this will work. Huh. As if this place wasn't creepy enough without flickering imagery. So what do I need to do here? Use a candle? And there goes nothing. There we the go. hell is this? It's like a narrative of our case. What's going on? How could Tigran know about this? Okay. So every major event is here. Everything we did so far. How is this possible? So, this is where they parted ways. Every major of. Huh. As it. Okay. But there were three slides. So. Can I switch? Huh. As if this place wasn't creepy enough without flickering imagery. The last image is missing. Did Amber break it? And if so, why? Okay. Yeah, because this seems like it's going in order. So this is the beginning. And this is where they left. So this should be what happened to Amber now. Every major event is here. Everything we did so far. How is this possible? But the final one is broken. Okay. And the West Park Casino doesn't look too good. Also, the diner is burning. I didn't burn down the diner. Did I? No. I didn't. Hmm. Took you long enough. I was tied up with my work. Never thought I'd live to see the day, to be honest. You, me both, Snoop, it's a milestone. So, there goes the Westpaw Casino. Well, one less thing for you to worry about, am I right? That old joint. That was just a cover-up. The shady stuff was always done behind the scenes. Besides, don't worry. I'm sure King has more than enough stashed away. He'll be fine. Mind if I take notes? Knock yourself out, pal. You know the drill. No quotes, no names. No problem. Can't think of what'll happen next, you know? What do you mean? You know what happens when someone steps on King's toes, Ted? Casino was his bread and butter. He's not gonna let that slide. I had a chat with him last night. 
I have a feeling he's going to pass on this one. Red? Yeah. These are terrible times, Bear. I know, Sam. I wanted to talk to you about this, Ted. Something is fishing in Paper City, and it's not just a fish market. You got that, too. Huh. Let's not talk about it here. There might be some seagulls around. What? Uh, nothing. Anyway, I have a couple of leads left, and the night's still young. I'll catch you there tonight, and we'll talk. Sounds like a plan. Anyways, I need to get closer so I can have a chat with that Barry fellow. Brian? Yeah, that's what I said. Those PCPD clowns are not going to let me get close, though. I'm sure you have a way of circumventing these types of situations. Usually, I do. But seeing as Commissioner is here, it'll take more than a pamphlet to get me inside this time. Pamphlet? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, because that's how we got past the last time. That's not gonna work again, obviously. Two stupid dogs. Please move away, sir. This here is a crime scene. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was an accident. God damn it, Dudley. What? The official statement, man. Oh, yeah. Um, please move away, sir. There's been a terrible accident. Sure, Too late. sure. You guys mind if I have a quick chat with your fellow police officer there, Bradley? Uh, Brian? That's what I said. No one's allowed. Okay, never mind. I see locks here. Seems strange he would come down to investigate an accident. The commissioner's here because of the press. It's better if he deals with the media himself. I can imagine. Hey, buddy, who the hell are you anyways? Me? Oh. Mm -hmm. I was just on my way to work when I saw the sky light up like a goddamn 4th of July, you know? And what is it that you do exactly? I'm a lawyer, I'm an actor. I take vacations instead of other people. I take vacations instead of other people. I take their money, go on a vacation, and send them a bunch of photos. My clients swear it's like they went there themselves. Oh, that sounds great. Man, I wish I had some money to pay you to go somewhere. I always wanted for someone else to visit China instead of me. I hear they have dragons there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm an extra. I take these gigs on the side to kickstart my acting career. An actor, huh? Anything we might have seen. You watch a lot of Indonesian cinema? Is that even a thing? I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Savages. All right. I'm a lawyer. Another one. You people are like vultures. Hey, well, yeah. I'm actually with you on this one. Okay. These guys sure don't have it easy with that fire starter roaming the city. It's like a building, but, you know, drawn. Seems like the fire boys arrived a little too late to the barbecue. So, is it like a sauna? I don't... What is it? What? Who was it? Exordium Sweatshop. These guys sure don't have... Hmm. There must be a gambling joint nearby. Oh, that's right. There is. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Was. There's that guy. That one cop. What was his name again? Brian. Seems like the fire boys arrived. Go talk to him. Hey, where do you think you're going? Okay, so don't go talk to him. Are you smoking, sir? Well, this is a good time for a smoke break anyway. If it's a good idea, that's another story. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, blubbermouth. Um, okay. So how do I get past you? Sam Blabbermouth Murphy, Paper City's top news hound. Okay. Can you help me get past them? You have any dirt on those two idiots by the site? Just anything. <laughs> well, the one on the left is Dudley. He got married recently. His wife, Mary, works over at Paper City General as a nurse. The other one is Bob. He was the best man at Dudley's wedding. Rumor has it Mary and Bob used to date in high school. Well, that's an angle if I ever saw one. Do your worst, buddy. Hmm. Okay. So, buddy, who the hell are you? I work over at the Paper City... I work over at the Paper City General. Really? My wife works there, too. Uh, do you know her? What's her name? Mary. Mary Robbins. She's a... A nurse. 
I know Mary. Such a sweet girl. She's always telling me about you, Bob. You're a lucky guy, let me tell you. Yeah, she is. Hey, and, uh, wait. Bob? My name's Dudley. He's Bob. What the hell? Oh, boy. I'm sorry. She's always telling me about her high school sweetheart and how he's so handsome, and I just thought, you know what? Forget I said anything. Mary said I'm handsome, huh? <laughs> Come on, man. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, it could have been any number of Mary Robbins down at the Paper City General who are married and think their high school boyfriends are handsome still. Yeah, I guess you're right. Denial, man. Look it up. Idiots. So, what are your plans now? Hmm. China. I'm actually going to China. I hear they have dragons there. That's a must if you ask me. Oh, no. You're going there? Really? Oh, I'm so jealous I want to murder you. <laughs> Just kidding. But but no, really. Can you bring me back some photos? I would love to see them, man. You got it, pal. Consider it done. Great! You're such a great guy. Backyard I might go to Backyard Town. town. Now that Bruno the dog is gone, the place has really flourished, you know. Yeah, I hear it's great down there now. I'm heading down to the sunny sandbox beach. I hear it's really something. Uh, something? It's a beach, pal. I mean... Okay. What else can you tell me? Nothing, Sam. The married one is a complete idiot. Well, here's a scoop, Stoop. It seems Mary went to visit her relatives two weeks ago down to Cardboardville. She went alone. Hmm. The plot thickens. Coincidentally, Bob went there on some two-day seminar called The Amazing World of Bubbles that same weekend. Now, I'm not a gambling man, mm. but if I were... Thanks, Sam. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's you again. Ruined any marriages in the meantime, bud? What? Oh, no. I was just leaving and wanted to say goodbye. Going on someone else's vacation? I'm going down to Cardboardville to attend some seminar. Mary's always talking about that place. She went down there two weeks ago and she brought the best saltwater taffy this side of Dredge River. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, I know. And check this. Bob was there a couple of weeks ago as well. He was attending that uh, bubble seminar. Didn't you, Bob? Um, yeah. It was only okay, though. Um... Small world indeed. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> oh, for the love of Mary's having an affair with Bob here, you stupid idiot. I mean, smooth, Ted. I'm sorry, Sam. This was getting ridiculous. Bob, is this true? What? Um, no. Come on, man. Who are you going to believe? Your best man or some, some lawyer slash actor? I knew it. I seriously doubt that. You were always so jealous of me. You just couldn't let me have her, could you? Jealous of you? Don't make me laugh. Besides, she told me she only married you for the money. Money? Uh, you son <laughs> of a... <gasps> Oh, well, this turned dramatic. Paper City's finest, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Oh, no. What's going on over there? Those two, they're just horsing around. Mr. Bear? Surprised to see you here. Hey there, you. It's Brian, sir. Brian, sure, I knew that. Anyways, what an unfortunate accident, am I right? Accident? Um, sure. Listen, hmm. was anyone here when this accident went down you're worried about miss ashworth huh. obviously worried. don't get smart with me chief now was anyone here is what i'm asking only mr king and some of his associates they all made it out in time though seems like mr king cut the gala short and escorted everyone out at some point it's almost like he was expecting this to happen huh weird he did and, um miss ashworth you know sure Whatever. Fortunately, Miss wasn't here at the time. Any idea where she is? Last I've heard, she was seen at the Paper City Harbor, taking a cab to King's Island. Harbor? What's her game? Now, I'm not sure, Mr. Bear. But it seems to me Miss is following Mr. King and his associates. God damn it. She's still looking for Tigran Jones. 
this can't end well. Oh, I'll say. Um, Mr. Bear, I'm not supposed to share this information with you, but something big is going down at the King's place later tonight. It would be better if you hurry on down there before... Before what? The Commissioner is planning... Hey! What's going on down there? Brian, son, go and stop those two idiots. This is not a place for horsing around. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I have to go. Wait, Sport. What were you... Ted, what are you doing here? This is still under official investigation. You know the rules. Don't worry about me, Sarge. I'm just passing through. Going somewhere in particular? I'm going down to Kokomo. Kokomo? Yeah. My plan is to get there fast and then just take it slow. You know. Stop being mm -hmm. such a wise guy, Ted. It's not good for your health. <laughs> if I had a nickel. You'd probably drink it down. Move probably. along now. There's nothing to see here. Can't really tell if this is your official statement or just your apathy talking. I suggest you walk away if you don't want to spend the night in the slammer snoop. Yeah, you, your threats are you don't have time I for that, Ted. My point. See you around, Sarge. My regards to the missus. You don't have time to get in jail, Ted, so... You need to catch up to Amber. Quick. Um, Mr. Taxi Driver, will you wait for me? Keep the meter running and that stuff. Why are you whispering, little wench? I'm here incognito. I mean, it's a stealthy mission, you know? Ah, uh, but there's no one around. Oh, right. <clears throat> Anyways. Anyways, I'll be here. It's all the same to me where I get drunk. Don't look at it like that. The choice of ambiance is very important in creating the atmosphere or foundation, if you will. Which then, in turn, creates a mood more suitable for relaxation or the main floor figuratively speaking. And after all the requirements have been met, on the very top or um, the roof, uh? relaxation helps in the absorption and digestion of alcohol. So, you know... It's not, really. You know, you've spoken more words right now than my wife in 40 years of marriage. I'll take that as a compliment. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. You sure it wasn't you? No. <laughs> no I didn't hear anything, but I think I'm in some kind of sonic shock still. I guess. See you later. Bye. All right. So we're at King's Island now. Anyway, I think that's a good place to break. Can I do a save right there? And I'm going to pick this up next time. And see what happens at King's Island. I hope they reunite soon because, yeah, they need each other. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.